Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Super. In today's video, we're going to be taking a closer look at the Apex MTXR Octo. So this is an Octo designed to work with the MTXR or the MTXRC regulator. Very, very tough second stage, something that you don't have to worry too much about. It has a built-in Venturi switch, which is pretty much all you really want on an Octo. Let's see how it arrives. So this is how it arrives uh, in a nice, neat little cardboard box, very environmentally friendly, um, not too much. Uh, you've got barcodes on the side with your serial number, um, just some information about how they sort of help uh, sort of reducing plastic pollution and everything in their packaging. And then on the inside, uh, warranty registration, uh, head over to apexdiving.com afterwards. You'll need that serial number and register it for the warranty. Uh, you get the second stage itself with a bit of cardboard packaging. Uh, you get a graded hose. I'll measure the length of that a little bit later. Uh, and a DVD disc drive, uh, the regulator owner's manual. Uh, so that's it. Let's take a closer look at the second stage itself. Okay, so first of all, Hose itself is about 91 centimeters long, tip to tip. That's including all the threads and everything. So about 91 centimeters. It's got these um, uh, these little hose protectors on either end. So they just help when that's attached onto your first stage. If there's any sort of weight or tugging on that hose, it doesn't tug at the metal part, the ferrule. Uh, it just protects the hose just a little bit. Hose itself is a braided hose. Uh, it's a much lighter. It doesn't have that thick rubber outer shell, um, but nice and flexible and incredibly lightweight as well. And because it's only about 91 centimeters long, it's not going to be too buoyant, so it's not going to be floating up anywhere. Down to the other end, uh, you have a second hose protector. Again, it's yellow, so it matches with the Octo theme, makes it high vis um, in, uh, in the water. And then we come to the second stage. So the first thing is, is that you have a little gap here and uh, sort of on this nut. That's actually for a bolt snap. So what you can do is get a, um, a cable tie, a zip tie, and then Apex usually use like a, an old O-ring. You kind of wrap that around a, a bolt snap and then you can put that zip tie around there and that way you can have an attachment point just there if you want it to. If not, it's fine, but just to let you know that's what that little gap is for. You have this big, big, big heat sink uh, as soon as the gas gets in coming around to the valve. So for cold, cold waters, this big heat sink is actually warming up that gas as it comes in and warming up that valve so it's less likely to freeze. The body of the second stage is just made out of a, a polymer, a plastic, so um, that's helping to reduce the weight. The front cover, though, this is metal, and it's over-molded metal as well. So the metal helps to act, again, as more of a heat sink, increases the strength as well, so it can take a bit of a bash. And this over-molding, this yellow um, sort of rubberized material, again, it's protecting, but it's also helping pr uh, reduce ice formation on the front as well. The purge button on the front is a little bit recessed, so it's not accidentally discharged, uh, but when you press it, very solid action uh, and very affirmative, so you know that you're pushing it. And again, you've got some crenellation around here with that overmolding, so it's kind of protected as well if it's uh, sort of bumping around. This has Venturi adjustment switch. Um, so this little switch here, it's redirecting the airflow on the inside of the second stage. So this is particularly useful on octos because as it starts to deliver gas, if it's not in your mouth, it's going to create a vacuum and then it's going to create a free flow. With the Venturi switch, you can interrupt that by redirecting the airflow away from the mouthpiece and back towards the front of the second stage. That basically interrupts it. So on Octos, I usually set it to, uh, to the on activated mode. On the, uh, the mouthpiece, you just have this small compact mouthpiece. Very practical, you don't want anything too big for an Octo, um, so it's comfortable, but uh, strong silicone and just held on with a traditional cable tie. The exhaust tee is actually removable. Uh, this is the same as the, um, the XTX range by the looks of it. So you can swap that out and, uh, and take it off to sort of inspect that exhaust tee underneath. But, uh, but otherwise, yeah, a good tough little second stage. And that's the Apex MTXR Octo. There'll be more information on our website, simplyscuba.com. There's gonna be a link to it down in the description below so you can check it out and buy it from us. Thank you for watching and of course, safe diving. Thank you.